Okay, good morning. This is Brad Marks, uh, Pack Forest Supply Company, and we are going to try to demonstrate to you some of the basic easy steps of planting trees. We're on the slopes of western Oregon, the foothills of the Cascade. This is a hillside that uh, was logged this past summer, and uh, the debris was left on the hillside. We call it slash. It seems pretty typical. The organic matter is left for the next regeneration process. So with that said, I'm going to demonstrate uh, the use of a couple of different tools. This instrument right here is called a hodad. It's a blade on the end of a stick. You get it in the ground and you plant the tree and then obviously we all know what a shovel is. But there is a certain way to plant with a shovel and with a hodad and that's what we're here for. So bear with me. I haven't done this in a while but this has been my career for years and years and years. So uh, with that said, we'll get started. Thank you. What I'm going to do here is plant some trees and then pick out my next spot and move and plant some more trees. And we're doing it on about 11 foot spacing here on this hillside. So this is very typical right here. And this is Bailey and this is Ozzy. They are very involved. So it's very typical. I got berries. I got no visible dirt. So the first thing we're going to do is scalp off an area to where we can plant the tree. We have blackberry vines, we got slash, we got ferns, so I'm going to create a spot. That's called a scalp. Then you got to put the tool in, and there's some rock in here, you probably heard that. You see how I'm going in like this? and lifting up and then when I come back like that I have a real nice hole to plant this tree and this is what we call a container stock the short version is just called a plug so I'm gonna plant this plug down into the ground I've got this nice hole goes right down in there I take my tool out and I come behind and bring some of that dirt and rock in by the tree and then you you firm it up and check it by this okay that's plenty tight that's a nicely planted tree okay, we're gonna go about 11 feet and it's right where Old Bailey is right now so I'm gonna move up there and again I have no visible dirt so this time I'm gonna turn the blade around instead of using the tip I'm going to use the back end for removing stuff. And here we go. There's a nice scalp. Okay, we have that in actually 12 inches now. And we only have to plant about 6 or 7 inches. So we've loosened up the dirt on the, on the bottom end of it. So that the roots, when they start growing, will grow rather easily. Put it in the hole, take out the tool, come in behind, come in front. There it is, nice and tight. Okay, now I'm going to go over this way and do another one. I'm spacing off of this tree, and I'm spacing off of that tree approximately 11 feet. So we're going to go over here. Again, we do not have visible dirt. It's there, we just got to find it. You can see I push down and lift up and push down and lift up once it's in the ground. We have another tree ready to plant. Bailey's, come on, ready to plant. Right down in that hole, you can. Good idea to look to see what you're doing. I can see it's in there nice and straight. Bring the dirt in, finish it up. There you go. Okay, now we're gonna show how to plant with a tree planting shovel. Now these can be used for bare roots or the plugs that we're planting. Doesn't really matter, technique is the same. Now we've moved off of our previous tree about 11 feet and we're gonna plant right in this area here. Now with a planting shovel, for those of you who have not used one, you do not just dig a hole. That's not the way to do it. You're trying to create a hole 
in the hillside. So you turn the shovel around so that the back side of the blade is facing away from you, okay? So again, we have to scalp to get down to the dirt. Again, I can't see it. So I'm gonna move some debris, some slash. Now I got the slash out of there and there's some rock in there. But you can see how I slam this thing down in there and then go forward with it. And then you can take out your tree. It's just like with the hoe. You come in, I'm gonna get this out of my way. You come in, you plant the tree in there, get it straight. Come in behind it. Just like that, okay? We'll go down here. We've got one here. We've got one there. We got one over there. So we need to get another one down in here. Okay, we're gonna plant a tree right where this big old uh, thistle weed is. So we're gonna have to remove it. Again, we're gonna scalp it. So we're gonna take it out and we're gonna go like this. Okay, we got a spot that we can plant. It's kind of rocky in here for a shovel. And that's why sometimes people want a foot pad so that they can kick it a little bit and then go forward, just like that. You see, when I pull the shovel back, how big of an opening that is, that will take a bare root or a plug. Again, we only have plugs today, so that's what we're planting. Put it down in there, nice and straight. Take the tool out. Now, as you can see, in this kind of ground, the shovel's a little slower because of the rock. Sometimes it's a little faster when the soil's good. We're gonna move down here and plant another one. Then we're gonna come back and show you some other techniques. I, for one, do not like to use my feet very much. I'm going to throw it into the ground. Got the tree. Put it in the ground. Plant it up to the green, the first branches. Tug on it. It's nice and tight. Okay. So we just did about six or seven trees. And so we're going to come back and show you a tubing technique. Because this ground here has a lot of elk on it. If you look out behind me, you can see that pasture land out there. This is just up off the flats, and the pasture land is elk habitat in the wintertime. So sometimes the trees need to be protected from either elk or deer or rabbit. Protect your investment. Sometimes you got to spend more money to keep things in, in tow. So I'm going to go over to my supply stash here and get a few uh, items, and we're going to show you some tubing techniques. Thank you.